Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'll be showing you five different ways to make this ball. We got the eight ball frozen on the first diamond on the long rail. We got our cue ball at the first diamond and first diamond intersection straight in line with the eight ball. We'll start with the most reliable method and work our way down to some more creative but less likely methods. Each shot has its own unique challenges, so let's get right into it. So the idea with this shot is to aim to overcut the eight ball. So we want to aim to bank the eight ball about to this first diamond, but it's not going to actually go there because we're going to apply a ton of right spin to the cue ball. Now whatever spin is on the cue ball, the opposite spin gets transferred to the object ball. So a bunch of right spin on the cue ball means a bunch of left spin on the eight ball. So if we aim to overcut it, that'll get our cue ball out of the way fast enough to avoid the double kiss. And then the left spin will correct the angle causing it to go into this pocket instead of hitting way up here. So a bunch of right spin, aim to overcut the eight ball, that'll put left spin on the eight ball, shorten the angle for the bank. All right, so the straight back bank into this pocket was by far our most reliable shot because this is our second most reliable shot and it is a toughie. This shot is all about correct aim. We're going to be banking the eight ball, one rail, into this side pocket. One rule to remember on bank shots is whatever angle the ball is going into the rail is the same angle that it's going to come out when you hit it at like a medium hardish speed. The slower you hit it, the wider the angle will open, the further this way it will go. The faster you hit it, the more it will shorten up, the more this way it will go. So this shot, I always try to play with a little bit of outside spin. So again, I'm putting right spin on this cue ball, which puts left spin on the object ball, helping it spin into the angle into the pocket. All right, so our third most reliable shot is going to be the three rail bank shot into the side pocket. Now, if you play banks by the rail, you know this shot, or you should definitely learn this shot if you don't know it already. So, again, eight ball frozen at the first diamond, cue ball at the one and the one. We're gonna use a little bit of left spin, which puts the opposite spin on the eight ball. So left spin on the cue ball is right spin on the eight ball. And we're gonna aim for about this first diamond. Whenever it's on the first diamond, I find that around this first diamond with a little bit of spin, uh, typically leads straight towards the pocket. Now, if you're on a different table, it might not work exactly like that. That's just what I've found playing this shot by myself. So left spin on the cue ball, aiming the eight ball about here. And then we're going to hit it at a nice, firm, medium, firm pace just to get the eight ball rolling straight into this side pocket. Alright, so our fourth best shot is going to be the two rail bank into the same side pocket we just made the three railer in. So why is this two rail bank harder than the three railer? Where the three railer had a really natural line towards the pocket, while the two railer, we have to control the spin off two rails and try to get the ball to shorten up off of this rail. So the idea is to barely miss the bank into the side pocket, and then that spin will shorten the cue ball up leading towards the side pocket. All right, and our least reliable but most cool option is to back cut the eight ball into this corner pocket. Now this is actually a kick shot, not a cut shot because the cue ball is going to hit the rail first and then the eight ball. So what we do is we aim for about half of the eight ball or so, and we're applying heavy, heavy right spin, as much right spin as we can put on the ball. And we actually want our cue ball to contact the rail about here. So just barely miss the eight ball coming in, and we want our cue ball to contact here first, and then all of that right spin We'll spin the cue ball to the right, causing the eight ball to go in. So you really need to hit this 
perfectly. And sometimes it still doesn't go. Sometimes you can overcut it. Sometimes you just barely clip this uh, corner and it doesn't fall. Just a really, really tough shot. So as much right spin as you can. And the reason that we're aiming to actually hit part of the eight ball and we're not aiming just for this spot is because the concept of deflection. Now, when you hit something on the right, it goes to the left. When you make a full contact hit, the same thing happens. So our cue ball is going to veer off to the left a little bit because of all the right spin that we're putting on it. So aiming to hit about half or a quarter of that eight ball, tons and tons of right spin, and you'll be able to cut that ball straight down the rail. All right, and those are five ways to make that ball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 200,000 subscribers. To hit that would be absolutely amazing. And thanks to all of you that are already subscribed. Now, just a friendly reminder before I go, you can always play safe on this shot. You don't always have to be the hero. Maybe don't go for the double bank in the side. Maybe don't go for three rails in the side on the shot. Maybe all you need is a nice little containing safety. So if you were to hit the eight ball real thin, a bunch of left spin, the idea is to leave the eight ball somewhere along the rail here in our cue ball way down here, a nice containing safety shot. Just like that. Now we're forcing our opponent to do something crazy instead of us. So again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.